In this tutorial, I will teach you how to use the Flood Fill tool in PaintShop Pro to fill areas with colors, gradients, or patterns. The Flood Fill tool allows you to fill all pixels or pixels you specify with your selected colors. This is a very useful tool when working with graphic design projects if you want to change or experiment with the color scheme. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started! In this project example, we're going to design a Facebook cover photo for a design business using the Flood tool. I have a blank canvas, and I'm going to use the Flood Fill tool to fill in the canvas with the background color of my choice. I'll select the Flood Fill tool from the Tools toolbar. Alternatively, you can press F on your keyboard. Now I'll open the Materials palette by going to Palettes, then Materials. Choose the foreground or background color from the Materials palette with which to fill the area. If the standard palette doesn't have exactly the right shade you want, you can click on the drop-down menu to browse through many different palettes. Or you can choose a custom color by clicking on the foreground or background properties box to bring up the material properties window. From here, you can select the exact color you want from the color wheel. Then click on the blank canvas to fill it with your chosen color. Left-click to fill with the foreground color, or right-click to fill with the background color. Now let's say I want to add a design I found and make some customizations. I'll copy and paste this design onto my canvas by going to Edit, then Copy, then Edit, Paste as New Layer. I'm going to open up the Layers palette as well by going to Palettes, then Layers. I want to make some changes to the colors in this design using the Flood Fill tool. When we use the Flood Fill tool, all colors that are similar to the color you clicked will be filled. To alter the range color that will be filled, you can adjust the tolerance control on the Tool Options palette. 0 is for exact matches only, and 200 is for all colors. I want to change this yellow splash design to white. I'll select my color from the Materials palette, and then left-click on the yellow splash to fill it with white. If we zoom up, you can see that the edges of the splash are still a bit yellow, so I'll undo the Flood Fill action and adjust my tolerance to around 80. Now when I click on the splash, the edges have also been filled with white. I can fill in some of the other splashes on the design with different colors as well, adjusting the tolerance value as needed. There are several options you can choose from the Tool Options palette. You can select the Match Mode from the drop list. We have the Match Mode set as the default RGB value, which fills pixels that match the red, green, and blue values of the pixel you click. You can also choose an option from the Blend Mode drop list to specify how filled pixels are blended with pixels of underlying layers. You can limit the Flood Fill to match pixels of the current layer only by unmarking the Use All Layers checkbox. Now let's use the Flood Fill tool to fill in one of these splashes with a pattern. Click on the Foreground and Stroke Properties box to open up the Materials Properties. Then select the Pattern tab and choose the pattern you like, adjusting the angle and scale of the pattern as desired. Then click OK. Now click on the splash to fill it with your chosen pattern. You can experiment with the different blend modes or adjust the opacity slider as well. At 100% opacity, the paint covers everything. At 1% opacity, the paint is almost completely transparent. We can also use the Flood Fill tool to fill with a texture. You can use textures with the current color, gradient, or pattern for foreground and background strokes or fills. So let's say I want to add a texture to this white splash. I'll click on the Foreground Properties box, then select the color of the texture I want to add. Then click on the Texture tab and mark the Add Texture checkbox. Select the texture you want to add and make any adjustments to the angle or scale of the texture. Then press OK. Now left-click to fill with your chosen texture. The Flood Fill tool also makes it easy to change the colors of any shapes or elements you have added to your project. You simply have to select the layer or element you want to adjust, then when you click to use the Flood Fill tool, 
press OK to convert the current layer to a raster layer if prompted, and then use the Flood Fill tool as desired on your text or shapes. Now I want to show you another cool use of the Flood Fill tool. I have a photo opened up, and I want to tint or colorize this photo. To do this, I will select the color of my tint from the Materials palette. Then choose Color, Legacy, from the Blend Mode list box on the Tool Options palette. I'll set the tolerance to 200, and then adjust the opacity level to experiment with the intensity of the tint I want to add to my photograph. A low opacity level will give the photo a light tint, and a high opacity level will give it a more intense tint. And simply click on the image to give it a tint or colorized effect. The Flood Fill tool makes it easy to get creative and experiment with your photographs and design projects. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.